And another look at nature. A tiny little spider. Again, filmed by Cindy. She had a little difficulties focusing in on it because it was really small. Look at that little bugger going. You know what it's doing? It's building its nest. It's weaving it. Going, going, going. And then it got to the top. It turns around and comes back down. And again, look at all the intricate movements it has to make to weave its nest and or its web. It's not even a nest. It's a web to catch its prey. What the heck would this little spider prey on? It's cool to watch nature firsthand. I filmed a spider last year and got it up on YouTube, uh, weaving its nest. And we do have black widow spiders in our garden. Uh, last year, I think we caught three or four of them. We don't uh, harm them. We just place them where they're not going to do any harm because spiders are predators. They do go after insects that might be harmful. We don't use uh, pesticides, or herbicides, any of that stuff because why would we want to poison nature? Uh, you have to learn to live with it and for thousands of years people did and then somebody figured out hey there's money to be made at it let's make uh, you know whatever chemicals, poisons and stuff and that's where we're at now. The flowers attract a lot of insects and of course one of our favorites has to be the butterflies. And we have a lot of videos of uh, swallowtail butterflies. They're one of the more beautiful ones, large. And you know, I used to think that butterflies, you know, kids love them, you know, oh butterflies, butterflies, they're, you know, dainty and all that. Well, the, the butterflies can be very aggressive to each other. Uh, little aerial combat you see sometimes and I never realized they had that long tongue or whatever coming out of their mouth that they go in and uh, get the pollen or nectar out of flowers one of the great places where Cindy and I have watched butterflies and seen a lot of beautiful ones including the different stages of development was in uh, Riviera Maya at Eshkaret, they have a butterfly pavilion, huge, all netted in, a lot of gorgeous flowers and uh, incredible butterflies. I mean, if you love things like that, that's the place to go. And you got to be able to spend some time and bring a camera. Bring a camera. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's still camera, video camera, whatever. Bring a camera because you'll be able to capture unbelievable images. And I have to keep saying bring a camera now because technology means, you know, we just celebrated iPhone being around for 10 years. Well, guess what? The people, uh, everyone from, you know, just ordinary people with their iPhones to professionals, even journalists are using iPhones to take photographs, to capture video, audio. Uh, that iPhone has become an incredible thing, but not as incredible as nature is. Oh, that's me from the background giving Cindy instructions. Try to get around it, get different angles when you're filming it, because I couldn't see that Cindy was already doing that, but she knows what she... Look at that thing! Oh, I love it. I love it. This is, by the way, taken with our 4K Sony AX53 Handycam, which allows me to pan and crop for good, really good close-ups. Oh, the wings of this guy look beat up, man. Look at it. it it's Like I said, they do aerial battles. And but Another thing that's really remarkable, I mean, I know, you know, it's a little thing like a butterfly, and yes, it does amuse my mind, but man, you know, we've had a really windy spring and summer, and uh, you get out when it's really windy and watch the butterflies flying, and it just blows me away that they're able to do that uh, in the wind because they do look so delicate so well they're light they got this huge wing i don't know if there's i doubt if there's bones in it or anything like that for support but uh the way they handle wing on the flight is, is just remarkable <laughs> 